this weekend we've had our medieval festival which is an absolutely amazing event not only for the, for the community, for the county, but uh, for the country. We focus on the Battle of Bosworth. Um, we deal with a lot of partners, so we've got the Wars of the Roses Federation that bring in um, reenactors from all over the world, not just within uh, Great Britain, but they come over from Belgium, from France, etc. So this event is a mass collaboration. Um, we work with various partners, so the Richard III Society, the Battlefields Trust. We have market traders that come from all of the country. We've got some market traders that come from Scotland. They travel down, they stay for the weekend. Everybody has a fantastic weekend while they're with us. They're engaging with the public. The public are learning something new, as well as taking part in the various activities that the programme that we deliver. I would recommend this event to, to any, everybody that's out there, young, old, you know, there's something for everybody. Everybody will engage and take something away from our event at Bosworth. A massive thank you to everybody that makes this happen. There's months of preparation that goes into this and the team here at Bosworth are absolutely fantastic. The dedication is absolutely superb. I take my hat off to everybody externally as well that is involved. We also have to say a massive thanks to our volunteers, to our health and safety department, to our comms people and everybody. We're seeing an absolutely record number of people on site and for us that is amazing. When you've put all this amount of effort in, what you want to see is people coming, people enjoying themselves and post-Covid, well-being is a real key point for people now. People's mental health, the education that people are learning while they're up here. So this goes to show that heritage has a real place in Leicestershire County Council's plan for the future. My role here is, as the events officer, is to book all of the entertainment for the Medieval Festival. So that's everything from the jester behind us to storytelling for the kids, just to make sure that we've got something for everyone of all ages to enjoy. Then we have kind of falconry displays um, going on as well, because um, that's something for everybody to enjoy. Then also um, we have three cabins um, on site, and this year that we've done something a bit different with them and in there there's something a bit interactive. We've got um, her jazz um, local community coming in and um, being at um, an Islamic healing community. We've also got the museum's um, Leicestershire Collections team showing you a fabulous array of um, all of the artifacts that we have along with lots of fun interactive um, activities for the kids to do as well. So it's really great to have the opportunity to bring some of Leicestershire's museum collections out to Bosworth today. Uh, we've got a selection of museum collections on display and we've also got craft activities. So we've got um, families and children making funky medieval floor tiles based on the ones from our collection and a really fun quiz as well. So it's really great to be able to get out and connect with families, young people and new audiences here at Bosworth Battlefield. I also make sure that um, we've got enough um, food concessions for people so they're not queuing. But it's just really about making sure that um, everyone here is catered to and there's a little bit of something for everyone. I also book the medieval market that we have here with lots of different arrays of um, fashion and jewellery that have portrayed that would be um, around in the medieval times. But we're always constantly um, looking to improve our offer and we do listen to feedback of the um, of the customers that come in and we do ask for it it's actually really useful because then we can always adapt and change and improve the festival so we can just make it a better experience for everybody involved so i make the clothing that for the reenactors um, and i make them out of as authentic a fabric um, as we can given that it's modern production times so this is a wonderful event and a great opportunity uh, in here for the public to see exactly what it is that the reenactors have to wear um, but it's also a very good opportunity for the reenactors to actually come shopping um, at a time when they need the things and also want to think about future uh, garments um, it's great for me it's how I earn my living um, but it's also fantastic to see my products out on the field being used.
This is one of the very few medieval battlefields in our country that features everything within the medieval arsenal. We know for a fact that cannon was involved, we know archers were involved, we know knights on foot and billmen, spearmen, pikemen, mercenaries from the continent and of course cavalry as well. Richard is the last king to, uh, um, to die in battle and he led his cavalry charge into the enemy troops uh, and died fighting. And all of that just sums up the medieval period so much. And I think that's what makes Bosworth really, really special. It's got a little bit of everything. It's not just a weekend's work. This is decades of work all going in to make the most immersive and uh, impressive festival possible. It's been a wonderful day, there's been lots to do, um, it's great for the children, it's very informative, loads of really nice stalls and met some great people. Um, yeah, it's just an all around fun day out. I love the food, the atmosphere, the performances of the reenactors, the exhibition, um, everything. And the books as well, the events, get to, get to meet the authors as well, fantastic day. W well worth the money.